Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine. A couple of days ago I went from Sutton to Battersea. A round trip of about 15 miles. This all happened on that round trip. Unfortunately there is no natural reaction because of the conversations we were having in the car. So you've got to put up with me I'm afraid and a little bit of background music. Okay, I'm in Malden at this roundabout where the first incident took place. We're looking at this van over here. He decides to go down the inside. Now the inside lane is for a left turn at this roundabout. But obviously he's too important to do that. He should be going where that car's going. You can sneak out there as well like that. But no. Also look how high that curb is. He decides to drive up that in a minute. Apologies for the dirty window. He also forgets that it is priority to the right on a roundabout as well. He just barges his way through. Notice the sticker. He takes kids to school for a living. There he goes, straight up the kerb. He doesn't care about the motor. It's not his motor, he doesn't have to pay for the repairs, does he? Okay, next up, we've got this one here. There's normally two lanes here, but because of the lorry, there's only one lane. Here we have the greatest cyclist in the world. Riding into oncoming traffic. Wobbling like hell. So I move over, accelerate and get in front of me. But no, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Now if you can't ride with two hands, what do you do? Put a hand in the pocket, that'll help. Straight over again. Didn't have a little look over her shoulder in case there was a motorbike or another cyclist coming over. But it's okay. Car turns around the corner. Where's she gonna go? Obviously, on the pavement. And then this guy. Does exactly the same thing, except a lot faster. Straight, that car's still there, look. Rides straight at him. Now this road here, there's a left lane, there's a straight on, and there's a right lane. I'm going left, by the way. Guess where this idiot's going? Yeah, straight on, but he undertakes. Not the cleverest cyclist in the world. Okay, this road leads to Wandsworth Roundabout, which is this. Got a red light. Not for him, though. Now you can just about see the van coming up the inside. Now obviously if you're coming up the inside of a roundabout you should be turning left. He's got no intentions of turning left. As you can see, lights go green, he cuts across two lanes of traffic. And he's not even turning right, he's gone into a right lane now and he's not turning right. But anyway, on to the next one. As you can see, we've got a green light. So why is that bus coming out? And the Burke in the Merc there. Why are they coming out? They've got a red light. You can see the red light there. Even if they didn't have a red light, it's priority to the right, which they seem to both have forgotten. We're gonna go back a little bit now. While we were waiting for that van, I noticed this woman. Another one. On the phone maybe, you think? I reckon so.
Yep, put it away. We've got a green light. Now, obviously, we've just seen this from the from the front. This is the back. Just so you can see the Mercedes. There he is. The Burke in the Merc. He's gone for a red light and cut across everyone when they've got priority over him. Well done, that man. Moving on. Yes, we've got a couple of clowns crossing where they shouldn't, but that's not important right now. It's this one here. That is the only bit that you can see out of. Everything else is all frosted up. And he's a professional driver, apparently. Now we're looking at the bikes. Just casually go through red lights, two of them any, anyway. Now, on this bit of road, you can't turn right here. So, what do you do? So you obviously turn left. Or you go straight on and find another way. But you turn left and then just do a U-turn and make everyone bloody wait for you. And as I've said in the past, when you do a manoeuvre on the road, it shouldn't have any effect on anyone else on the road. That's why it's wrong. Okay, we're in Battersea now. Note them two right-hand lanes only. We'll come back to that in a minute. Obviously we've got a red light, but not if you ride a bike. He's also got a red light over there. But you know what they do. Now getting back to them right turn only lanes. There's a sharp right, which is this one here. And then there's a normal sort of ish right just over there so obviously if you're taking the sharp one you want to be in the right hand lane and if you're taking the further one you want to be the car to my right but forget everything I've just said if you ride a bike because you can do whatever the fuck you want you should not be there for starters and now you're going to cut across two lanes of traffic to go into the sharpest right turn unbelievable Now the next bit coming up, I do have quite a lot of comments about this sort of thing, saying that they're doing nothing wrong. Try doing this on your test and see how you get on. As I keep saying, whatever manoeuvre you're going to do on the road shouldn't affect others. I shouldn't have to wait for her, she should be waiting for a clear road. And just to show it wasn't just me, there's at least three of us behind her can't see what what's behind the big vehicle behind the BMW I've even been more okay we're done in Battersea I'm coming home as you can see I've got a green light so where exactly is that thing going roundabouts that are not very well marked you I can understand people getting in the wrong lane I really can all these people on the left here they're all in the right lane the one one vehicle out of all of these people you would think that knows the road and should know what lane to get into is the bus and he's the only one that isn't in the right lane apart from this bike that comes up the side of me. Right, 
right, we're on Clapham Common now. This car here wants to turn right, but so does the van in front of me. The van in front of me has priority, but obviously the Land Rover makes it as difficult as possible, and bikes just don't give way for nothing. Now this is what our lovely mayor has done to London. He's put these bike lanes up, but he's put these spiky things in the road. So when there's an emergency vehicle coming, we can't get out the way of them. Especially if there's cyclists in them, them cycle lanes, because they won't, they won't wait for you. Here comes the police car. But no one can actually move over properly because of the spikes. Until now, I actually go into the bike lane a little bit because the the spikes had stopped. Show you from the front now. The van has stopped to obviously give a bit of space there. And I move over slightly into the bike lane. But the bikes don't stop for me. They gave they actually gave me a filthy look for being in their lane. You can't see it on camera, but trust me they did. Okay, we've got another Burke in a Merc, the Q jumper. He's to my right in the red car here. He wants to come over, so he just comes over. But he's laying the original lane, he's moving faster. So obviously, he goes back into that. So we'll speed it up now. Our lane's moving faster than he's now, so he's got to get back in it. So all that for one car. But this is Mitchum. Nothing moves fast in Mitchum anyway, so there's no point in bloody doing in driving like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick one before I go. I've had quite a few emails uh, of people submitting clips. I will get round to doing them. You just have to bear with me. It's very time consuming, but thanks for sending them in. The address above, if you've got any more clips to send us, much appreciated. If I don't do another video before Christmas, have a good Christmas. Bye.